Hello everyone, it's Marcia. I have another journal that I wanted to share with you guys. This one is called Spring in the Air. Um, it is another one of my soft uh, cover fabric junk journals. It, where to start? <laughs> um, I have a tassel here with lots of different fibers and laces and trims, um, which is just clipped onto a garment pin, which is pinned to the spine with a lob uh, lobster clasp. The closure of the book is um, some muslin with a vintage trim sewn on uh, to make a tie closure and to hold it closed. Uh, it's tied, but just for a little added detail, I added this vintage um, stick pin with a <coughs> excuse me um, with a little um, lace leaf that I colored green. I used some ink and just inked it up. For a nice spring green and um, I picked this up at a an estate sale it has a little pansy flower on it it did not have the cap on the end of it so it is an open pin and it just sticks right through the leaf and right through the knot of the trim and that is not attached to the spine it's loose um, the cover of the book is um, just different uh, <laughs> spring colored or spring feeling type um, fabrics that I patchworked together and um, stitched around each little square. I did some quilting on top after after I patchworked everything um, on. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking today and there's little bits of string everywhere. Um, I did just some little sort of a faux free motion um, stitching a around the entire thing just to give it kind of a quilted look. Um, yeah, and oh, I left the edges frayed, of course, because that's how I always do. When we go inside, um, I used a solid a single piece of fabric for the interior, and you can see the quilting little marks on here as well. My sewing machine does not have free motion capability. I don't have a free motion foot, so it's not exactly free motion, but I did what I could with what I had. Um, on here is another little piece of muslin um, sewn on with a frame with these um, bird's nest and butterfly and some birds and little decorative um, elements. It does have a little bit of sparkle. I don't know if you can see that. This card right here does slide out if you wanted to um, write something on it or put a picture or what have you. It takes a little bit of effort to maneuver it back in there, but it's not terribly hard. I have a little collage here. This is an image from a vintage children's book and some music paper and vintage wallpaper. <clears throat> thought I was going to sneeze. Um, this is a vintage card which folds up to make its own envelope and they came with these little stickers I hope you can see that they're meant to be colored or decorated how you want to and it is to be used as the seal of the envelope and I just put it in with the card and it can be used however you choose to made a little tag here with a little butterfly punch another children's book image collaged on here with just some tea dyed sorry coffee dyed paper and this is um, from the same book it's some of the text um, it has to do with riding a pony going to a farm something that you would do in spring a spring activity or summer activity this is another just an image from another children's book some stenciling there's lots of coffee dyed paper as well as some just writing paper that hasn't been coffee dyed. I wanted to mix some kind of um, bright and colorful with vintage um, and this is what I came up with. This is one of my photographs that I just printed onto vellum and I love the way it just really pops on the vellum against the white paper. Another children's book page. Um, with a paper clip, I'm gonna to try to stop saying um so much. Paper clip with some fabric on the edge, a fabric tab, some more stenciling. This is a vintage book page from an ideals magazine uh, with some 
I believe apple tree or cherry tree blossoms. I don't know why I even bother trying to tell you because I don't know. Another vintage children's book page with some lace and muslin stitched around and some journaling space on the back. And inside the little lace pocket is just tucked some little tags. On here is a, on this round purple paper clip is a tiny little bead. Hope you can see that. Um, in this little tuck spot is another one of my photographs. I put several throughout the book just um, because I, I like taking pictures, especially in spring and fall. But um, I used a bunch of spring pictures that I've taken and just printed them on cardstock. And you can journal on the back of them. You can move them around the book. That's some um, inked up doily, some lace on the edge, some vintage wallpaper. This is another piece of vintage wallpaper. I just um, glued on and then stitched on this corner of a hanky which has this beautiful um, hand embroidered flower. Some more um, vintage children's book pages, some fabric and the leaf trim. Little flip here with just some coffee dyed paper. This is some um, tissue paper that has been um, just decoupaged onto the back of the vintage wallpaper. I love this wallpaper. <laughs> I wish I had more of it. I believe that's my last piece. Um, a little bit of stamping. This is a little pocket with a stenciled tag. Each side is different, which you can journal on. This is the other side of the Ideals magazine page with the bird's nest. And it has a little poem here. It's called The Call of Spring. There is a feather stamp. This is another one of my vellum images of some uh, lilacs in a vase. Some, uh, sorry, a fabric tab with a little leaf charm. I feel like maybe I should have zoomed in a little bit. And I can't, it doesn't look like I'm, sorry, I'm just, probably didn't do everything I should have before I got ready, before I got started. I hope that's a little better. You can see things better. A little bit of stamping. A pocket here with just a collaged image. It says flower with a little girl. This is a book page of uh, a book about birds, bird watchers, some trim, a children's book image which is stitched around, some stenciled um, paper here, a little bit of collage with um, a, an old hymnal. It says sunshine in my soul and a little butterfly and a fabric tab. This is a children's book page as well. I love the images in it. It's very um, outdoorsy, spring. Got a little fabric pocket here. It is fabric, but it has cardstock kind of um, reinforcing it to make it a little stronger because this book page isn't terribly thick or strong. This is one of my watercolor um, paintings, which I just um, rounded the corners and made a little tag for you to journal on. Um, butterfly stamp, <laughs> a tiny little tab here, and a vintage children's playing card of the woolly lamb. Some more vintage wallpaper. This is a hand embroidered doily, which I got also in an estate sale. A little bit of trim of um, some raffia. Of, um, trim tuck spot here with another one of my photographs of some blossomed um, tree branches. A little bit of uh, another one of those leaves and a little flower with some rickrack. And this is a pocket with a just one of my collaged journaling spots and a um, piece of cardstock. I just um, punched the corners, make it pretty. I did some stenciling of some cherry um, blossoms. And it kind of mimics the cherry blossoms in this vintage image, which is also from an Ideals magazine. And it's backed with vintage wallpaper. In this pocket is a little collage tag that I made with some lace, some more children's book image. You can journal on the back of it. And this is just some extra writing paper tucked in the little lace pocket. Some little fibers up top. A little bit of lace here. Uh, this is a little charm that was hand painted, not by myself, but the packaging said that it was hand painted. Here is a, another paper clip with fabric um, on it. 
and this is a fern which has been pressed between um, wax paper and then um, did some collaging and gesso and sewed around it. Another one of the children's playing cards with Slick Chick. I like this little umbrella here with a little girl in it. Another fabric tab. The other side of the doily. And the wallpaper. A little corner tuck here with another one of my photographs. Which I believe goes this way. <laughs> I guess you could orient it however you wanted to. And you can journal on the back of that. And another journaling card. I tried to include lots of bright spring cheerful colors in this one. Some vintage fabric here of, of, with a bird and some plums. The children's book page with just some vintage wallpaper. Some little um, fairies or garden sprites stenciling. This is an envelope which I collaged another vintage hem onto. Um, I'm on the sunny side. This is just some extra coffee dyed writing paper. Tucked behind the envelope is a vintage postcard which has the Lord's Prayer on it. And this is some more vintage wallpaper. A flower applique, which I got from Renee at GT Designs. Um, some collaging and stenciling here with some book page. It says the Cherry Orchard. And again, I don't feel like it's clear. I'm, I do apologize if it's blurry. Um, and some lace trim and just a large tag that you can journal on and some fiber. Another vintage children's book page. Doily, some little stenciling here. I did some raindrops for April showers. Fabric tab here with a little butterfly um, charm pinned on. This is another page from the Ideals um, magazine. Sorry, I'm starting to get tongue tied. Lots of writing, lots of space to journal. Another one of my photographs printed on vellum. I do apologize. There it is, clear. <laughs> uh, coffee dyed. Oh, yes, I did a double pocket in the middle of this signature. This is another one of those vintage um, postcards. With this one has an umbrella sticker on it that you would use. Sorry, as the seal. And they are made for um, coloring, decorating. And this side is just another um, corner punched, uh, there it goes, corner punched uh, card. I know what my problem is now. I didn't lock my focus, and I should have. <laughs> this is just another one of my collaged um, journaling cards with some copy dyed graph paper on the back for journaling. Other side of the vellum. Another children's book image, a little girl with some chicks, some stamping, a little fabric tuck here. Um, I just wanted to cover up some of the, the words there because it, you couldn't read the entire thing. This is just some coffee dyed writing paper. And that's the other side of the Ideals magazine. This is a piece of fabric which I stitched on. And I kind of like how it kind of mimicked the shape of this woman's dress a little bit. It's not perfect, but I thought that was kind of interesting after I looked at it. Some stamping. Another children's book page of the girl skating. This is just some more of the coffee dyed graph paper. I love this little lamb stamp. It was given to me. It was meant to be a joke. They didn't think that I would like it or use it, but I actually really like that stamp. Um, another corner punched piece of cardstock for journaling. And the doily, some lace here, it's a banner um, just stitched on with some flowers and butterfly. This is um, another one of my photographs of just a tulip in the rain. You can journal on the back of that. Some little lace on the paper clip. Little pocket with uh, lace and a little lace trim or crochet trim flower. And a vintage receipt. It is perforated. You can take that apart. This is just some writing paper which I stamped a bit of lace along the top. And that is focus. Oh, that is so frustrating.
but I'm I'm not gonna redo it because I don't have time I was hoping to get this done sooner but life is just not allowed for it so I'm gonna have to just leave it as is hopefully it's not too horrible um, I do apologize again but um, yeah this will of course be listed in my Etsy um, and all the details will be down there I do just I will just say there are approximately 120 pages plus there could be more um, and yeah it's about six by nine in size all right thanks guys for watching bye